In today's video, I'm going to show you what's probably the best way to find a bug in your code base. Searching for a bug in your code can be a daunting task, especially when you have a huge code base with a lot of changes. So I'm going to show you how you can efficiently find where a code was introduced with Git Bisect. And I'm going to take this a step further and show you how you can automate the whole process. And this is going to be mind blowing. Now for this, I have a very simple project going on here. And this is just a command line calculator. So what you can do is run the command and give it an operation. For example, byte 10 by 2. And then you can see the result is 5. You can also pass in other operations like multiply or add or subtract. So multiply 10 by 2 and it should give us a 20. Now the problem with this calculator is that the addition doesn't work for real. So if I give in add 10 and 2, it gives me an 8 as a result and not the expected 12. Now I could go in the code and try to find it, but I have just too many files here and I'm not in the mood to go through all of them. And if I go to the Git history, you can see that there are so many commits. I mean, five commits, that's a lot. I cannot go through every one of them. So let's go ahead and use Git bisect to find exactly where this bug was introduced. And the first thing I'm going to do is to start the process by running git bisect start. And it's going to say that it's waiting for good and bad commits. So we need to point git bisect to two commits. One of them where there is the bug, which is the bad commit, and then a commit where there is no bug. Now the current state doesn't work, so I can just run git bisect bad. And we need to point to a good commit. And I know that the first commit was working. So I'm just going to copy the commit ID and then pass in git bisect good. And I'm going to pass in the commit ID. Now check what happens here on the left. So we said that this is the good commit and the last commit is the bad one. Now git bisect goes to the middle commit. Here we can check if it's working or not. And git bisect is basically doing a binary search. So now that we're in the middle, we can check it out if it's working or not. So I'm going to run again the addition 10 and 2 and see if it's working. And I'm seeing that it's still not working. So I'm going to say git bisect bad. Now that we run it, we're going to land in the middle between the bad commit and the good commit. And let's check this out if it's working or not. So npm run start. And this is still bad. So I'm going to say git bisect bad. And now git gives us commit where the bug was introduced and this is commit one. So if I click on the commit, you're going to see that here is the bug where we don't do an addition, but a subtraction. Now that we're done, we can just run git bisect reset and this is going to reset everything. Now, one cool thing about this is that you can automate the whole process. So git can check for you if the commit is working or not. And for that, there is a command. It's git bisect run. And here we can pass in any command, for example, npm test or something like that. And what will happen is that Git will run this command for you and check if it returns a zero or one. So when a command returns zero in Unix, it means that there was no problem. And if the command returns one, it means that there was a problem. And Git will run this command for you. And just like that, we don't need to manually check if this is working or not. Now there's still one problem, and that is that we don't have a test script. So what we can do is to add a test script and try to squish the commit in between and let Git do the rest for us. And just to make sure that we don't affect our main branch, I'm going to create a new branch. So let's call this one um, bug finding. So now I'm in this new bug finding branch and let's go and add a new test. I'm going to call it calculate.test.ts. And here we can import our calculate uh, function. We can add a test that it should add two numbers correctly. And we can assert that when we call calculate with add 10 and 20, it should return a 30. Now, if I open the terminal again and run npm run test, you're going to see that the test fails. And here, this small red arrow here, it just means that the command has had a non zero return code. And let's go ahead and create a commit for this. And I'm going to call it add test. 
commit. Now we have a new commit at the end. So let's go ahead and take it and put it here in the beginning. That way we can use it in the git bisect. And for that, we can use git rebased interactive. So let me first grab the commit ID. So let's run git rebase the commit ID and interactive. And this is gonna open this text editor. In this case, it's Vim. And here I can just reorder them. So I'm gonna take this last commit and put it in the beginning. I'm gonna save and close the file. And now you can see that our branch has all the commits for main, but it starts with this add test. Now that we have the test, we can finally automate git bisect. So let's do the same thing again. Git bisect start, git bisect bad, because right now there is a bug. And I'm gonna, again, grab the commit ID of the first commit, copy it, and run git bisect good, and pass in the commit. Great. And now comes the magic command, git bisect run, and I'm gonna pass in npm test. And when I hit it, you're going to see it's running the test multiple times. And I know this happened right now very fast, but it basically did all of the stuff that we did ourselves before manually. And it found the commit where the bug was introduced. And there you have it, git bisect. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable and see you in the next one.